This March, Porsche brought its Le Mans winning WEC team to America, joining its IMSA squad in a bid to win two endurance races in one weekend. It's a representation of Porsche's involvement in this sport. Um, to have four cars here, two in each paddock. We've been working with Monty Racing, our sister team, to coordinate on the technical and the preparation. Of course, we have a lot more experience here than they do, but it's a very collaborative effort. So as we're learning something about reliability, we're sharing that and vice versa to really make Porsche the strongest across the world. Defending IMSA 12 hours of Sebring champions Nick Tandy and Patrick Pile had a wealth of knowledge to share with their World Endurance Championship counterparts. It's a huge event. I think the fans will be, will be very happy about this. It will be a really amazing weekend. And for us, better to have four factory cars because we have more data, we can share a lot of the setup. I think it's something great and I hope we will use this uh, to go to the victory lane. We're running the same car. We're running identical tyres. The difference we have is the WEC cars are allowed, obviously, tyre warming, preheating before they go out where we're not allowed in the WeatherTech Championship. So we've got meetings set up with both technical departments after each practice, WC and IMSA, to get a quick transfer of information. On the WEC side of the paddock, Kevin Estra and Richard Leeds' knowledge of Sebring would help the European-based squad find the perfect setup for Friday night's 1,000-mile race. It's a great track. It's one of my favorites in, in North America, for sure. It's very special. You need a special setup. You need a good physio. So it's cool to be there with WEC and having a different format than what we used to race here with, uh, with IMSA. You have the bumpy old stuff and you have some new surface where it's smoother, so you want to have the good platform. You also start in the heat and you end up at midnight where it's cooler. So you need to find a compromise from the setup, like having an oversteer car at the beginning and some small understeer at the end. So it's a lot of stuff which is unexpected. That's why it's important to use the practice sessions as good as possible and uh, you know prepare ourselves and the setup for the race. Qualifying went perfectly for both Porsche squads with Patrick Pile claiming pole for IMSA's Saturday 12-hour race and Kevin Estre and Michael Christensen claiming top spot for the WEC race as well. Race fans crowded the grid for the WEC's 1,000-mile race. In the GTE Pro class, Porsche's Kevin Estre and Michael Christensen were on pole in the number 92. Great qualifying yesterday, and uh, we ended up on pole, so great, great effort from the team and uh, from Kevin, my teammate, so perfect start of the weekend. As the GT cars come to the line, the Porsche has jumped out. BMW were looking down the inside of the Ford, but the 92 from pole position is pulling away. The race ran smoothly for Porsche, with Christensen and Estre up front for much of it, closely shadowed by Jimmy Bruni and Richard Leeds in the sister car. When rain set in with 25 minutes to go, a pit stop reshuffle handed the lead to the 91 car. It's another WEC win for Porsche, as the 91 with Richard Leeds takes the checkered flag. A good strategy, and at the end the rain uh, helped us. I mean, it was an amazing end of an amazing race. With one win in the bag, a very wet Saturday morning made it harder for Porsche's North American squad to follow suit, though they would also start from pole. Thanks to our sister team in the WEC, which, who won last night, uh, we definitely got a little bit of data. It's clear that conditions are changing, and what may have been true last night may not be true right now, but really our job is to be ready for anything over 12 hours. We just hope that we can get racing underway. Obviously, with the, the standing water, it's not possible to, to run when it's very heavy rain. I just hope that we get a few good hours of racing and that we can stick around in the race keep the car out of trouble, keep it from going round in circles like we did a lot of Daytona, so, yeah, fingers crossed. Very sensible to start behind the safety car in these conditions, but as we go to green flag racing, where are the Porsches? The Porsches struggled through the early stages of the race with both cars dropping to the back of the GTLM field. The Fords seemed to have the best wet setup, closely followed by the BMWs and the Corvettes. However, as the race wore on and the track started drying, the Porsche 911 RSRs began the fight back. We weren't very quick at all in the rain, and I think the boys, Patrick and Lawrence, were just doing the best just to keep it on track. Uh, we seem a bit better in the dry. Maybe not quite the ultimate pace of some of the cars, but we're still on the lead lap, we're still in the fight. Porsche had put itself back in the mix in the GTLM race. Nick Tandy would start the final stint in an effort to repeat his 2018 victory. 
Antonio Garcia's Corvette and Richard Westbrook's Ford both made one final pit stop, giving Tandy the opportunity to reel them in and take control. Well, you can never write off Porsche in an endurance race. Down a lap early on when it was wet, but as it's dried up, they've got quicker and quicker, and this looks like US win number 72 for Porsche at Sebring. We start first, go last, and come back first. I mean, it's unreal. I mean, this guy make crazy job. The end was like so stressful for all of us, but I'm so proud of this guy. I'm so proud to be part of this program. I mean, it's amazing, just amazing. It's a great weekend for Porsche. One more victory here in Sebring. We have a lot of success in the past, but yeah, it's unbelievable, unbelievable. It's awesome to get back to back. You know, we came here as defending champions. We didn't think we were going to be here at the start of the race or even nine hours in, you know, but it just seemed at the end that everybody's pace kind of dropped off. We were really strong on pace with the kind of looking after the fuel mileage. Obviously our little Porsche 911 is pretty good on fuel economy. And um, yeah, it was super at the end. We just managed to have a good race, get past both boards and the, and the vet on the track, which was really good. And I was really happy to see him spin at the end, you know, give us a bit of breathing space. Yeah, it was good. <laughs>